Do you cook with a rotation? Do you know what a rotation is and why you have it? What's the difference between a rotation and cooking ahead? So in this video I want to discuss the difference between a rotation and cooking ahead, which is something that I teach my staff to do. So a rotation is when you start off, like right when you get ready to start cooking, you go ahead and you get some burgers going. Now depending on how busy you plan to be and how skilled you are, how long you've been cooking, how good you are at cooking, uh, those two instances are going to affect how many burgers you put on. So you might have two big and two small burgers sitting up there always going. You might have four big and two small. You might be really busy. Maybe you're a new store and you've got eight and four. Uh, you might be really new on a really busy day and you might have somewhere around eight or ten big. Not likely, but that's in the higher volume areas. Because in high volume areas, especially if you're underdeveloped or you're not as fast at making burgers, you need to be really far ahead. Now the way a rotation works is you take this uh, assumed amount that you're going to need and you keep it no matter what. So you always have it. So when a burger comes up, you make another burger and you slide one over. So now you maintain, let's say we're going to keep two and two. You always have two big. If two big come up on a ticket, you take two big, you put it on the grill, you flatten them out, you slide your two over. Now remember that we're sliding them after we flatten the burger because we've already got them cooking. This allows us to keep those ticket times lower, but we have to balance between being busy enough to use that burger before it's cooked and possibly having to set that burger over to a corner and then we leave it there for five minutes which becomes 10 minutes then you use one and the next burger sits there for another five minutes so we're at 15 minutes this burger sitting over here and then we start deciding to use it we had too many now I like to teach to cook to order we make every single burger to order I like to cook to order because it only takes three minutes to make a burger if it takes three minutes to make a burger, our ticket times are trying to stay at three minutes. There's really no reason to have extra burgers unless you get to the point where you're cooking so many that you, you can't keep up. You can't flatten them fast enough. The grill starts to get cold. This is where I, I talk about cooking ahead. Cooking ahead is when you see a group of people come in. You generally would be cooking to order. You have no burgers on your grill at the moment. You see a group come in, maybe a baseball team. Maybe you have three or four tables come in and all your servers are busy taking orders. This is when you would cook ahead. You know you can look at the amount of people and you know you're going to sell a certain number of burgers. Maybe it's three burgers, maybe it's five big burgers. You're going to sell them. Almost guaranteed. So you go ahead and you put three big burgers on the grill. So now you're cooking them and you're getting them started. Because the first ticket that come up is probably going to have one, two, or three big already. So now we're ahead. What this is going to allow us to do is get the first ticket times of the, like I said, maybe five tables have come in, the first ticket's going to be even faster. It's going to be about a minute and a half to two minutes. This will allow us, as we start to have to throw more burgers on the grill and flatten them out, the highest we'll ever get is three or four. Whereas if the first one came in at three and the second one three and a half, we might get up in the four and five range. So cooking ahead means that we're going to only drop a few extra when we see the people come in. But as we start cooking them, I don't throw more on. So I threw those three on because I think that first table is going to have them. And then as people come in, I, I continue to throw a few on. But by the time I finish cooking the rush, I have no burgers left. So in the middle, towards the end of it, I see it phasing out. And I stop cooking more burgers. And I use only what I need. So a rotation, you maintain that same number all the way through no matter what. You always have it until you're ready to stop at 3 o'clock or 2 o'clock, whatever time you stop. Cooking ahead is only during that moment where you feel like you're going to be behind. So even if, like in my stores, you're about to cook a huge Sunday lunch, Sunday's going to hit all at once. So at about 12 o'clock, you see the first couple people come in with their little suits on. You start throwing burgers on, maybe eight burgers, because in the next hour, you are going to get hammered. And that's cooking ahead. It's different than a rotation. You don't have any extras when you're finished. 